Hi, my name is Ethan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a Salesforce certified admin and my day job is working as a Salesforce admin. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to enable surveys within Salesforce, how to create them, how to send them out. So to get started with enabling surveys, I've got my sandbox org here and I have not enabled surveys yet. So you're going to need to be in setup and in the quick find, you can just start typing surveys or survey, go to survey settings. So it's pretty simple to enable them right here. Create surveys and send them to participants. When they enabled email templates and sample surveys are added to your org. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. Now it says select the default community for creating public survey invitations. Now I don't have a community set up and in a, another video, I'll show you how to set up a community. And what this is for is for sending surveys to users that do not have a Salesforce account. So if you're needing to send this to people that are outside of your org organization, maybe you're working with contractors, you're wanting to send them a survey that don't necessarily, they're not in your company org, this is how you would do it. And then survey owners can manage responses, allow survey owners to manage participant responses. And I went ahead and enabled that, and that's kind of up to you if you want to enable it. So that's how you enable surveys within Salesforce. So now that we've done that, you're going to go up here to the nine dots in the app launcher, and you can search survey, and you can see it's popping up for me here. Now I am under a profile with system administrator, and I have seen with like my job experience that sometimes the survey tab is actually hidden uh, for profiles when you first enable it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. It is enabled for uh, the admin profile on my org, but where you would find it is you can just do a control F here and search survey. And you see right here, this is for your um, your tabs, right? Tab settings. For surveys, you're gonna make sure, you wanna make sure that's on default on. I've had situations where it's on tab off. Just something to keep in mind double check if you can't find it in your app launcher go make sure that tab is turned on but since it is turned on for uh, for us we're going to go ahead and search surveys here if i can spell it right all right <clears throat> so this is the survey object here we have the kind of recently used view this is my surveys which it comes with two that are automatically enabled uh, whenever you turn on surveys, the customer satisfaction and net promoter score. But we're actually going to create a new survey today. So on the top right, we're going to hit new. All right, what do we want to name our survey? Uh, we'll just call this customer survey. Um, it says create surveys template. Let's see what it says. Survey templates are automatically shared with users in your org. Users can view or copy the template based on their permissions. Well, I'm not going to enable that in this situation. We're just going to continue. All right. So this is what it looks like. You kind of get a default picture in the background and um, you can change this and we, and we are, but all right, let's set up our survey. So this is our welcome page. So this is going to be the page that is first displayed to your users whenever they, excuse me, land on this page. So, um, welcome to the customer satisfaction survey. All right. So this is the title of the survey here. You can do a lot with this. You can center it. You can right align it. You can actually insert an image if you would like onto the, uh, welcome screen. Um, I'm actually going to make this text just a little bit bigger. Let's do hmm, 20. There we go. And if you wanted to, if you don't like the uh, text, you can uh, select a different text like uh, whatever, uh, Verdana, anything you want. Italicize it. And you can describe the survey. Um, if you want, you can put any description you want in here. I'm not going to do one. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and configure this thank you page too uh, while we're at it. I need to complete so thank you for for uh, taking the survey. 
And I want to do kind of the same thing, right? I want to center this. I kind of want the text there. Oh, there we go. And let's make it 20 as well. Cool. So now that we've done that, where you have to have the welcome page and thank you page done before you can preview. So when you hit the preview button, it's going to open up a new tab. So this is actually what your survey is going to look like. Welcome to the customer satisfaction survey. Finish. Thank you for taking the survey. Cool, it works, but we don't have anything for them to actually answer, right? So let's add a page here. This page looks a bit lonely. Yeah, it does. So let's add a question. So you actually have the date, like or dislike, long text, multi-selection, net promoter score, pick list, ranking, rating, score, text. I'm actually going to do a multi-selection here. So this is what it looks like on the next side. So let's do a question here. Um, are you happy with the service that you are receiving from our business? Okay. Now you can actually customize this text too. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And you can add it up. There needs to be something to describe like more detailed. You can add it there. So let's uh, enter a choice. So let's give them yes. No. All right. So there is our question. There's our two possible answers they're able to select from. All right. So now let's add another page. We're going to add a question. I'm actually going to enter a long text area. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a survey and saying, hey, are you satisfied with our customer service, basically? Um, and if they select yes, I'm going to have it go to the thank you page. If they select no, this is actually going to go to this page. And it says, um, please dis, uh, describe why you are not um, happy with, with the service you are receiving and then then they can enter their answer in that long text area and then we have the thank you page so you can actually configure logic within these surveys which is super cool so to do that we're going to go up here on page two the this is the we can rename it whatever we want we can call this um are you um happy with your service they will not be able to see this this is just for us admins as we're creating this so um uh put no not happy cool so let's go up here and we're going to configure the logic so you see this right here page branching logic so we're going to click that <clears throat> this is a little confusing when you first look at this i'll be honest with you it took me a little bit to kind of get used to it so I, if you need to kind of watch this part of the video again or do a little more research, I completely understand. So the, you're going to set up the conditions of where you're going to go, where, if they answer yes, where are you going to send them to next? Or if they answer no, where do you send them? So, so if you select a page here to go to no, not happy response to question are you happy with your service equals no so what that's saying is you're gonna you're gonna send the user in your survey to no not happy page to answer the long text area if they answer no to the are you happy with your service you're receiving then you're gonna hit create rule if you do not hit create rule and hit save logic it will not input this rule in so make sure you hit create rule now that'll do that so if they answer yes currently it'll still send them to the next page to enter in why they're not happy so we need to create another rule to send them to the thank you page so on the not happy page if they respond with um are you happy with your service that you're receiving and it equals yeah, I'm happy with the service I'm receiving. Oh, sorry. We'll put thank you page. <laughs> if you select thank you page, response to the question, are you happy with uh, the service you're receiving? And you select yes, then it's going to send you to the thank you page. And you're going to hit save logic. 
says the page logic was saved. Make sure to save your survey. All right, well, let's do that. So let's preview the survey and we can actually kind of take this for a test drive. Welcome to the customer satisfaction survey. Next. Are you happy with the service that you're receiving from our business? Yeah, I am. Thank you for taking the survey. Awesome. So that, that logic we built in worked. Let's test the other option. No, I'm not happy. I am not happy. Kind of went crazy there. Finish. Thank you for taking the survey. Cool. So that's how you build in the basic logic, but I don't really like the background here. So if you actually go to the branding, you can kind of change this, that progress bar. You probably saw it at the top. It goes across there. Um, let's actually, you can do a bunch of things. You can do a logo. You can do the background. You can do a logo background here. Um, button labels. You can change that content card. There's a lot of customization options you're going to want to look at. But let's just remove this kind of background and I'm actually going to upload a logo instead. So let's upload a logo here. Um, upload image. It's got to be less than two megabytes. This is just a generic logo that I grabbed online and boom, it adds it up here. Blue Ridge event production. You can center it and let's just preview it. So there, that's kind of what it looks like there. Now I'm actually, you can get a background image. It could be like a blue solid background. So everything pops. Uh, I don't have one downloaded. So I'm actually just going to put the logo as the background too. Doesn't look as good, but you could do a solid blue background if you want. Uh, gray, uh, picture of a meadow, company um, specific uh, logo stuff. You could do that. I actually am not super happy with that background. So I'm just actually, you can hit remove image and it takes it right away. So perfect. But yeah, there's a lot of customization options that you can do here. Go back to pages. There is your survey. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Activate your survey to send the participants. Got it. So it takes it a second here to activate. Cool. So success, your survey was activated. Now you got view. So if you want to send your survey, you can get an invitation link here, like create a link or a QR code to share via chat, social media, or send an email, like embed a question or a link to the survey in an email to group uh, or to a group. But I'm just going to grab the link here. And this is for participants in your company, participants out of your company. Yeah, I don't have that config communities configured, so we're not going to uh, actually do that. And you could create a QR code for people if you wanted to right there. Now you can go ahead and send that link out. And whenever people are answering the surveys, this is where the survey responses will go. To test this, I'm actually going to send this survey link to myself and take the survey. All right, so... I sent the survey to myself in my email and I open up the invitation link. So let's take the survey together. Are you happy with the service that you're receiving for our business? I'm just going to select no so we can do enter in the long text area. Um, I am not happy because of slow response time. And then you're going to hit finish. Thank you for taking the survey. So now we're back on our page. If you go to analyze, look at that complete or in progress responses. So we have one. So right here, you can select the survey page. Are you happy with your service? It says, are you happy with the service you're receiving? There's no answers here because no, not happy. I put in a response. Look at that. I am not happy because of slow response time. Boom. There it is. So you can, as you send out your survey and you start getting responses, you can actually export these responses and get like a detailed list of exactly um, what people are responding. Um, you can go in here and, and edit and create a new version. Um, you can archive it. You can do a lot of cool things. And I just created, you know, one page with the multi-select, but there's a lot of other options you can go in there and do. And I may explore that in a future video. But um, if you have any questions, uh, please you know put a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them.
Also, there's some links in the description that are very helpful with creating surveys too that go in a little bit more in depth than what I did in this video, but I hope this gets you started in creating surveys for your organization. But I want to thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in that next video.